Hey there, lovely people. Ben David here, and today is a great day because not only, huh? Okay, uh, because not only did Apple release the 11.2 update to Big Sur, which means that many of the problems I was experiencing with my Mac have disappeared. Um, the other great thing is, by the way, this is heaven. Say hello. This is the other great thing of the day. Um, the Postal Service has delivered a package by Toman and inside that package, there is the Apollo Twin X um, that I've been waiting for a couple of days uh, because I decided to upgrade to this unit from my Aero. So let's just unpack it. There it is, the Apollo Twin X. And inside here, cardboard power supply cable. It's evening now and in the afternoon, I had the time to mount the Apollo Twin X on my desktop. It's now integrated in the system and I can tell you it sounds amazing. It sounds really, really fantastic. Um, People with an FM3 might be wondering how they can use the uh, digital optical input on the Apollo uh, Twin X together with the RCA, SPDIF digital output of the FM3. And it's not that hard. Um, I've ordered this little thing, which is a two-way digital audio converter. Uh, you can find that on Amazon and it's not really expensive. This is how the unit looks up close. Um, it features an optical SPDIF input and output and a coax RCA input output for SPDIF. And that means we can keep it simple. We just take the coax output cable coming out of the FM3 into the input of this unit and then I have a optical tossling cable and I connect that to the output. Um, and then I need to connect it to USB and select coax here and then it works. Um, kinda like that. So now that the power, the input and the output have been connected and the LED is running, um, just give me a sec. So now I grab the guitar and um, apparently there's a signal on the SPDIF. So now that I've changed the clock in and the digital output of the FM3 is going into the Apollo. Once I unmute the uh, channel, I can hear myself. So it's plain to see connecting RCA SPDIF to the optical input of the Twin X is really not that hard. Um, I couldn't notice any huge uh, latency or anything like that. But there's one unfortunate thing I need to tell you. Um, I've been listening to music now, both with the internal clocking and with clocking through the FM3. And I need to tell you that the internal clocking of the Twin X sounds way better than uh, when the unit is clocked through SPDIF, which means I will either record FM3 sounds directly over USB, so I don't need to have any clocking, um, or of course, through the analog inputs using the absolutely great Unison technology with all its uh, sonic advantages. Like for example, as you can see on screen, I have a um, Avalon preamp here. Probably gonna talk about that in a while or rather soon. Thank you very much for listening. Um, don't forget to have the best day ever and well, have a wonderful evening. Bye.